made it to Julia Creek and we were able to get a booking on one of their bath houses. So we're going to go check it out. Look at this, you are literally out back. Sun will set over here and we come around. Missy's got a spot on the deck. There she is and here's Mark. It's like, shall we check it out? Wait, wait till you see this, guys. Da, 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 da. Oh my goodness. And you have these gorgeous little bags. Wait for it. Look up here. The blue sky. So let's see. And we have a cheese platter. Very cool. Let's see what's in the bag. Mark, do you want to hold one side? We'll have a look. The Julia oh, Creek. You've got a little seat to put our things We've on. The Julia Creek cup. Oh my goodness. Some body lotion and something else. Oh, bath salts. Bath salts, there we go. Okay. But wait, there's more. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a little body scrub. So you can, you you can like a loofah, scrub. a loofah. I don't know what that is, but Kayleen will tell you. <laughs> For your body, it'll be really nice. I think a little lantern over here and everything. So we'll set the water up. Are we going to put this in? Bath salts. I'll just throw them in. <laughs> oh, so I'm not that familiar with this stuff. I don't do this sort of things. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Do I throw the, oh no, the bag? It's a zippy bag. Okay, I've got that, I can open that one. <laughs> got to get the spare parts for the car in. <laughs> Let's have a look from this side. How much do I put in? The whole lot. All of it? Yeah, you just tip it in. Rinse the bag out, I'll keep that for later. <laughs> put your tea bag in. Okay. Look at that view the out there. The best part of this, Billy T in one of these. Premium. So do we get to keep that or is it to so. use? I, so. I don't know. Okay, now you're going to put it on the other side, get your little bag on the other side. Or do you want bath salt free? I thought I had that side. I normally sleep on that side. Oh, you on that side. Okay then. I'll swap over your cup. Your cup over here. Oh, it smells amazing. I wish you could smell it. It smells beautiful. It doesn't smell like anything to me. Oh, it does. It's it? gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. So, what a relaxing view. The cheese platter has been amazing. What do you think? Well, I know I said earlier I'm not one for the spas and those sorts of things, but um, this is pretty neat. Views of the skies, views of the sunset. It's really quite spectacular. It is so relaxing. Bought our own drink. It is just beautiful. And we are so lucky to have the most amazing dog. She is just outside on her bed. his cup that he got from last night. So welcome, We've, we're, it's about 6 to quarter seven, oh, nearly seven o'clock. We're going for a morning walk with Missy, but we'd show you around. This is the beginning of the caravan park. We like this, welcome. No strangers here, only friends you haven't met. Welcome to Julia Creek Caravan Park. It's not huge, but very neat. There's a dog park down where that truck is coming, just behind, so Missy could go to the dog park. Let off, lead. Check out over here. We've got a center, we've got a swimming pool and everything. Wow. I'll have to check that out. We're gonna walk downtown, check it out. 
but we had a lovely night's sleep. The cabin was just lovely. Nice trucky. Uh, he's the guy that I just met. He's staying in the, one of the cabins. Or down the road from it. Impressive pool. So they've got pool hours 6 till 7, 3 till 6. Oh, so that's only open in the morning or in the afternoon. Or oh, school holidays, 1 till 7. Water park closed, but the pool is open. Water park must be over here. Let's go have a look. Oh, this might be a skate park. It is. I don't skate. Did you see there was bicycles at the front of the caravan park that you could hire? Yeah. Or you could just sign out, I think. <gasps> what a horse. Beautiful white. <laughs> and a doggy that maybe we won't pat. Oh, so this is interesting. Julia Creek Opera House now open. Let's have a look down here. Oh, the Great Artesian Basin. Here we go. It says the Opera House. Look how cute this building is. Up here. Up here. What have we got around here? Opera House Restoration. Oh, the door's open. Look at this. This is a gorgeous little park. So well kept. Julia Creek. If you ask me where I come from, it's a little town out west where there's always been a welcome to the battlers and the best. And if you're looking for a ringer or a shearer's cook for your seat, I'm your man. Just ask the coppers. I'm the bloke from Julia Creek. I'm the bloke who changed the horses when old Common Co was king. I'm the man of great resources. I can do almost anything. I ran the mail train shanty and the blacksmith shop to boot. And I fought a dozen shearers when the gangs went on the scoot. I'm the chap that fenced in Manfred, built the Dalganelli yards. And I ringed the shed at Yorkshire and I beat the gang at cards. Then I sunk the bore at Turak, where I thought I'd take a spell. So I helped old Tassie trip it, for it's a Catholic parish spell. I'm the chap who put the poles up when they lit the town with Treb. I'm the blighter one at poker when I stayed with Aussie Webb. I'm the fella built the phone line out to Auckland in a week. Oh, it seems you don't believe me, but you're not from Julia Creek. And Mark's found it's a movie screen, so they've got movies in the park. Look around here, look at these little buildings. You've got toilets at the back. So good, and look at these. A little well. Look at that, Missy. Here we go. Picnic rock tables. Fettler's cottages, stories of the people. Oh, look at these. On here. It's a little animal. Reflections at the creek. Oh, look right here. At the creek stage two. Oh, so you can do a little path walk. You can go inside. The ground beyond your feet. Oh, here we go, babe. Here we go. Go and get in there. Huh. That's very cool. He's in the rodeo. Here we go. Missy's gone with you. <laughs> so we came around the back of the library in the main street. And look at this. It's gorgeous. Knowledge Centre. Centenary. That's just so well done. And it looks like at the back of the library, it looks like there's a little garden area. Maybe you can read your books. Oh, a little water feature. It is too. So you can come out here and read your books. Oh, so pretty. Smart hub. Oh. And then you just look at how dry out there and how different on this side. Another coffee shop and snack bar. And now this is coming from the back lawn. This is number six. We'll have a little look around here while it's morning because they don't rent them out at this time of day. So we'll do a look and I see it all of them. It's so nice that they've um they've kind of got them locked off. Here we go. We'll go for a wander down through here. Oh, so they've got each of the doors closed. Do you want to have a look at this one? Do you want to open up and have a look? It's not occupied. 
Oh, look at that. That's really nice too. Oh, and the little mats. I love it. It's got the um, picks up the back. And fully open there. That's still lovely too. Yes. Nice. Got all the bottle brush along here. Oh, this is that other artesian water. So this must be where it's all filtered from. I know, it's really cool. We can walk around here and you can see we were down at that end one. Look, kangaroo's cute. And you can come and you can sit in here. Are you comfy? Yeah. Nice. Hey! Over you've got another laundry and amenities and you've got a lovely outdoor um, camp kitchen. sunset in Julia Creek. The sky is just epic. This really does not do it justice. So we left Julia Creek this morning and we've now driven to Richmond. We'll stop here and this has got some dinosaur stuff. So check this out. It's called Chronosaurus Corner. The corner. <laughs> oh, the little one. All the little restrooms. It's a very pretty little town. Mark stopped at the hardware. Great little hardware store. Two ladies run it, and um, they've got a lot of gear. He had to get another tie down. So there's a lake down here, Lake Fred. We're coming up here, Mark's going, it looks as dry as anything. There is not going to be a lake here. And wait for it. Check this out. Nice little area over there. Picnic spots. Little pontoon here. We'll have to go around the other side where all the green bits are. And they're beautiful. And then there's a caravan park that has the lake view. And another painted artwork. This one ate the rubbish bin. Oopsie. That's a classic. And then this is the caravan park. Wow, there's something going on here. Oh, this will be the, I heard them on the radio, so it's going to take us a while to fill up all the buses. Wow, anyone for a great gun? We've got one. <laughs> See, there's your bus. Skinny dog bus. Skinny dog bus. Wonder why they call them Greyhound buses. But here's the lake now from this side. Check this out. They got like a little water fountain thing that you can play. A little water park. gonna fill. I just missed him. These are cute. She might want some water in it. Someone's got a little boat. It's gorgeous. In the city you would go to a water park and pay 50 bucks to get in. This is Open to the community. I know, right? It's like, wait, wait for me, Mum! <laughs> <laughs> Who 
Is that good, Bubba? Is that good? <laughs> How pretty is this? Oh. Did she just walk through the mud? Good girl. It's rare for you to actually squat like a lady. Yeah, just lovely. Barbecue, great facilities. When did it start? 3rd of August 2002, and it's just a barren paddock. Wow. Oh, look at it. October, December, March, here we go. March 2003, so about 12. Oh no, less than that. Six months. Yeah. Wow. And you, then you can walk around the entire lake. Yeah. It's lovely. Welcome to Hewenden, a nice little town. When we first drove in, there's a massive cemetery on the right hand side. I didn't get that because we know it's a cemetery. But it looks like there's going to be another water tower we're going to go check out. A wind talking. Wow. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a stop that's got... It's all painted. So this is a rest stop that's all been painted, all fancy like. Yeah, pretty little picket fence. So they can close it at night. A train road and something. Beautifully painted silo. Hewenden on it. And they've got a Flynn's drink at the bottom, it says. Didn't know what that is. So we've come out, still in Hewenden, and there's all this solar. Unbelievable. Those miles. found another silo painted one. How gorgeous is this? And you can walk right around it. So you can walk right under this one. Look at that artwork. Oh, look. On this side. Wow, look at the wind. man-made lake and it's a recreational area like it's absolutely gorgeous but you can't camp here which would be a beautiful spot to camp it's obviously just day trips they've got little um jetties and everything that you can swim off and there's paddle boats and things like that it looks like Another fancy looking council building, but pretty windmill. That'd be nice on sunset, I reckon. Don't you think, going out that way? Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at the lack of water on the river. Wow. That is dry.
Ready to go see the gorge? Go see the gorge. Go see the gorge. So this is Porcupine Gorge is an ancient and special place. There are very few sites which offer such a clear insight into Queensland's geological history. Gaze into Porcupine Gorge 120 metres into the earth where almost 200 million years of geological history is revealed. Totally wasn't expecting this. It's like the mini Grand Canyon of Queensland.